everyone, welcome back to my latest account overview video. Today we have a special video of a uh, max rally lead. Well, I guess not a max rally lead, but a really top tier rally lead account. Uh, this is going to be from Dixie Normus. <laughs> uh, I love his name. Anyway, so we'll go over the account. We'll show you what's in this account, um, what the gear is, uh, what they have for research and all that. So this is something kind of special because if you don't have a really good rally lead account, you probably won't get to see a lot of this stuff. So I'll kind of go over like the stats he has the uh the gear some of the cool things that are on the account and stuff like that so first thing we'll start off with is uh, i guess we'll look at the gear because that's what everyone wants to know about a rally lead what gear do they have uh so this is uh dixie's um uh speed up gear here so he's got quite good speed up gear we'll just kind of look at the stats on there too uh just so you can see what's in here uh he does have a bunch of champion jewels and stuff like that for the speed up gear so it is quite uh quite good you can see the champion jewels here they do give uh 20 percent travel speed um he does have one more uh, champion jewel i did see that in his thing so he could put it in something else if he wanted to uh, but he's currently running 248 uh, percent travel speeds so if you ever know why these uh these really really top tier accounts uh, come at you really fast you have no time to switch your uh, gear it's because their travel speed is so damn fast because a lot of times uh they'll have like champion jewels and stuff like that and really top tier mythic gear and all that and i mean just just these boots give you 90 percent uh, travel speed uh that's the champion stride so he does have champ on his account it's not like a max mythic champ but he does have mythic champ pieces in here mixed in with his uh his uh regular level uh, 60 mythic gear so again he's not a maxed account but he's a really 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 good uh rally lead here um we'll even look at the stats what his uh stats are in his speed up gear so he'll be coming in at you with 553 percent infantry attack uh with the speed up gear so even even if you were to pour away before he switches gear, um, you're still getting hit by a 550 blast. So it's still really good. Um, that's just in speed up gear. We'll go into his infantry gear first. We'll go infantry range cav. Let's just do that. And I will switch the talents around. He said I could do that. So I will be switching them around. So we will put on his, where's his infantry set? Put on his infantry set there. You can see he's got some mythic champ in there. Uh, he's got the mythic champ offhand. He's got three mythic cups on his uh, infantry attack. Um, he does run the, uh, what's called terror lash as his main hand. And um, he does have this, but that's, I guess that's range. Skull Crusher's range. Um, he's got the Beast Helm here. Um, you, you'll, you can take a look at his jewels too here. So he's got like champion jewels, infantry and terror jewels. He doesn't have Baron jewels. He's not like, like I said, he's not a maxed account, but he does have really, really good jewels in all his stuff. He does have extra jewels. So I'll go throw all his jewels as well before that, but you can see what he has. Like it's pretty much the same around there. Champion jewels, terror jewels, and infantry attack gold jewels. Um, it'll take a look at the stats on the gear itself. So looking at that, he's got 562.5 uh, infantry attack, 128% infantry HP, and then he has what 147% army HP. So uh, the infantry HP and the army uh, HP together, that's like 270% HP on that. Um, he's still got <laughs> he's got 229% travel speed just in his infantry gear. So he's only getting an extra like what was that 30% when he throws on his speed up gear. Um, so yeah, even in this, he doesn't even need to switch the speed up gear. He can technically just attack in this gear and it'd be almost as fast as the speed up gear just for the travel speed so we'll take a look what his stats are with that gear on so we'll go down here take a look he's got 885 percent infantry attack in this uh setup um he does have the uh, fort right now for infantry so that is a little bit higher so i guess he would be down 25 percent so he'd be like 260 or not 260 860 <laughs> so 860 without the fort 885 with the fort right now um um, that's why his inventory is so high there at uh, 238 if you're wondering what his base stats uh the base stats are also higher because of familiars and castle stars he does have some good castle stars i will go over that too uh we'll go through all his uh attacking stats first and then we'll go through the castle stars after and, and his familiars and all that other stuff uh but yeah so that's going to be his uh, infantry attack 885 so if you ever been hit, hit by dixie um you're getting uh hit by an 885 usually or 860 when you're coming or getting hit by his infantry i uh, will take a look at his uh i guess we'll go range next so i'll go range blast apply that um and then we'll go over and switch to his range gear take a look at that versus range blast uh 
that's not ring. <laughs> that that's confusing. Ring. What is ring? Oh, okay, <laughs> that's that's what that is. Okay, range set. So he's got uh, five thirty one in his range. Um, not quite as high as his infantry, but it's still really good. He's got 95% range HP and then 160% uh, range H or army HP. So a little bit lower HP, a little bit lower attack. Um, not quite as good as infantry. His infantry obviously has three cups in it. Um, he only has one cup in his range. Uh, that's because he's he's uh, jeweled and uh Infantry right now with his other cups. He does technically have uh, three mythic cups and a gold cup. So uh, I guess the gold, the next gold cup will go into his range set. Uh, that's just so he doesn't have to switch the jewels around. But that's kind of how it is. Like unless you have six uh, mythic cups, you're not going to have uh, mythic cups in your range in your infantry set. So you went infantry. So that's or he would be higher in uh, range if he went that. So um, he could go that that route. But we'll take a look at his stats on here. Oops, should probably actually apply the range set. So put the range set on. Take a look at the stats where he's running there. Um, he's running 819% range, so a little bit lower in his infantry. Again, he's got uh, the mythic rings instead of the mythic cups in there. Um, he could switch it around and have much higher range if he wanted to, but he's he's, he's in infantry right now. So um, that's that. And then take a look at his other stats. You see his army HP is at 509, and army attack and stuff is 226. So technically, if you were to combine his army attack and his uh, range attack, it is over 1,000%. Um, you should do that because obviously, army attack does add it to your stats so you could combine them but his his straight up infantry or range is uh almost or 819 percent then he has 226 percent army attack on top of that with his army defense and army hp uh, again the, a lot of this stuff is coming from his like research and uh and his familiars and his castle stars all that extra bonuses that's why you don't have 200 percent base on your account where he has 200 percent base it's like the 60 extra percent is coming from that so we'll look at his cav last uh um, his cav set is, let's take a look at that cap set here uh here's his cap set he's got 516 so it's probably his worst set uh again um he doesn't have much mythic champ or anything in his cap set he has it more in his range and his infantry so um he has kind of built more towards that so uh, his cap is a little bit lower but we'll, we'll take a look at what his stats are anyways uh we'll actually put on the cap set here let's, apl oh, let's apply it first and then go into his talents and then throw in his uh cab blast here put the cab blast on so he's probably got around 800 percent on this so it's going to be a little bit lower than both of those uh he's got 804 so 804 cab cab is not his best um obviously infantry is like 80 percent higher um but still not too bad you can see um he still has 226 percent uh army attack so again over a thousand percent combined um but yeah 806 or what was it 804 on on the actual cab there and then his army attacks a little lower as two or army hp and defense and everything is lower so he's going to hit less hard with uh cab so he's probably less likely to go on this unless they know the person's uh, front line is infantry or whatever it is uh but He's probably not going to solo you in cab. <laughs> uh, looking at his stats, you're probably not going to get sold in cab. You're more likely to get sold in infantry just because it's a higher attack. Uh, but yeah, that, that was his uh, setup there. You can see he's got the 11k hero, but um, that's that's I'll, I'll go over that after. But we'll look at his uh, castle stars. Um, just one second. Yeah, so taking a look at his castle stars, he does have a bunch of them, actually. So he's got this one maxed. Uh, what does this one do, anyways? Uh, this is infantry hp so that gives you an extra 10 percent infantry hp um this one um he's not maxed but he's at six percent cab and six percent range so this is where these extra base stats are coming from is these right here infantry attack uh 10 percent range attack 10 percent uh this one is infantry cab yeah infantry range infantry cab so you see where all these uh base stats come and that's why the castle stars are so important when you're looking at someone's maxed account is because these castle stars actually give you base stats uh so this one just gives wonder battle so for a rally lead it's really important to have that as well uh this one is range hp uh cav attack range attack and this one is infantry cav not maxed almost there um he does have 17 but oh my god you need a thousand <laughs> i've never i've never seen five stars before i didn't know you needed like a thousand to get a hundred percent like uh yeah so yeah at 17 you have like zero percent chance of getting it so you need a lot of cal you need a lot of these star scrolls actually to max these out i had no idea about this because i've never actually tried uh but apparently you need a ton um the first couple levels are really easy actually <laughs> It's only need like a couple and you, you max out. But this one's infantry range, uh, range attack, range HP. Uh, that's just cab defense. It's not the best one. <laughs> uh, army defense, infantry defense, uh, infantry attack, infantry HP. 
um, range defense. And then the last one here is cav attack. So cav attack, cav HP. So he's got a lot of castle stars, actually. It's pretty good. Um, I think he's missing a couple, or actually there's a ton of them here. Um, what does this one give? Uh, army attack. Okay, so he's just missing a bunch of these, but uh, he does have quite a bit of them. So he has quite a bit of castle stars on there. Um, uh, taking a look at, let's see his his bags here. He does have uh, 4.8 billion food. He's got 3.1 uh, billion uh, timber. He's got 6.8 billion ore, and then only 600 mil gold. So that's the life of having tier four and tier five. Um, you're gonna have that little bit of gold because they're really expensive anyways. Uh, we'll take a look at his research next. Uh, so for a max account like this, or not a max account, but a uh, max research account, he does have max research. So uh, take it like this, he does have everything max. I will go through it all just to show you, but yeah, so everything here in his research tree is completely maxed. Um, he has zero research to do now. Um, all this stuff, like all this stuff for Battle Fury and and army HP and all that while you're in Battle Fury, uh, plus the extra uh, army attacks and stuff down here. You can see that. And then you have the uh, plagues, which are like debuffs, so it weakens your army when you're, or your enemy's army as you're hitting them. Uh, this one is just for like subsidies and stuff like that. Uh, taking a look, upgrade military, that was that one. Uh, upgrade defenses, walls completely maxed. Familiars, completely maxed familiars. Same thing with battles. So he's got he's got all five familiar slots open. Uh, Sigils, he's got all this maxed, all the extra HP and the damage and all that, and all the accessories. Uh, wonder battles, he does have wonder battles max too. That's something you really need as a rally lead, having these wonder battles max. Plus it gives you all the extra attack as well as you're attacking the wonder. So it's really important to have. And then he does have the tier five maxed. Uh, so again, completely maxed research on this account. Pretty crazy. We will go over familiars next. Uh, familiars he has, let's see. Uh, he does have all the tier five familiars. Every single one he has maxed. So uh, no matter what he's hitting you with, he's going to be hitting you with double tier five familiars. Uh, plus everything else. He's got most of these things maxed, all the attacking ones at least that he needs. Uh, again, so Huey Hops. We'll take a look at this. This is for the... Uh, the well, basically the auto damage. These are the ones that really kind of broke the game at one point um, and made us really rethink our uh, trapping strategies. Uh, these are the ones that really hurt rally traps because if you're a solo trap, you're not in such a, a bad state right now. You can usually take most people's hits without uh, losses unless you get fully countered. Only only way, let's say, my solo trap's going to get take losses is a full counter. And I'm not even sure if Dix Dixie could give me um, losses with 800%. You need like closer to the 900% uh, to give me any losses, maybe 850 um, again, that's with double tier 5 familiars. Uh, but again, uh, let's take a look at here. He does have the black wing as well. Completely maxed. Uh, Queen B, again, tier 5, maxed. Uh, Grantuin, maxed. So all, all these are maxed. So he's, he's got all of them, basically. So Killing Frost is the uh, other one here. Uh, Hoarder is, what's this one? That's the shielded. Uh, bon Appetit. I think I sk skipped over Bon Appetit. There you go. <laughs> so he's got all these maxed. Some of them don't actually uh, have it, but he still has them maxed up there. Um, some of these are just like Grim Reapers and stuff like that, which um, give you like each range HP, travel speed, and all these actually do give you uh, like an infantry attack here, uh, coalition army attack. What's this one? Oh, that one just destroys his resources. So not too important. Um, but again, yeah, this is where you get all those extra stats here, range attack 10%. So you can see his uh, base stats, um, they were at 203, but that's from the castle stars and these familiars because the familiars also give base stats, like passive base stats, army attack, army HP and battle fury, stuff like that. Uh, range defense, army XP or max. And this is the one, the rescue rabbits, the one where they can uh, activate and get their leader back 100% of the time. So you activate this, you can basically rally whoever you want and you get your rally leader back. Uh, Helldrider is the one where the uh, you have the uh, percent chance. So this one here, this is the prison break where you have a 10% chance to get your leader back. So those are the ones where they hit you and all of a sudden their leader walks back. That's from this. Uh, the rabbit's usually only used in rallies. Most people won't use it on a solo. I've only been rabbited a couple times on my solo trap. Uh, that's just like max mythic champs who want their leader back. And they're pretty sure they're going to get capped, but they go in anyways uh, just to do some damage. So um, that's that. Um, we'll take a look at uh, his, uh, I guess we'll look at just his bag here because there's some really interesting things in his bag. I just wanted to show you this. Uh, we'll take a look at here. You can see he has 
all these VIP points, but he's already VIP 15. So these are all wasted. I know it's it's hard to look at this sometimes. It's like, oh, I, want, I could really use those because my accounts are almost at VIP 15 and they're really wanting those VIP points. But um, he's got a ton of extra ones. <laughs> he's, look at how many random relocators he has. He's got 5,400. I believe he runs a bunch of buses and stuff like that. He does have a uh, level one hunt he does a bunch. So um, that's where he gets all these randoms. So he's got randoms for years. So <laughs> um, he doesn't need any more, but he still does them. So. Um, he's got 5,000 of those, and obviously all these are been, like, he's almost got 10,000 admins, or uh, quest scrolls, admin, and then 3,000 guild scrolls, which he could open and get a bunch of uh, coins from, but um, that would take a long time. To, so yeah, that's basically that stuff. Um, he does have a bunch of those too, but uh, I was actually going through his chests because I was like, I wonder if he has any chests here. And then I saw he's he's got thousands of chests still because I mean, he's already maxed out all this stuff. So the chests are kind of useless at this point because what, what does he need more Frostwing or uh, Snow Beast? He's already got everything mythic. Um, and then champ chests he still needs, obviously, because he's still actually trying to get some stuff to champion. Uh, Legendary Worm, some of the stuff he still needs a little bit, but you can see the stuff he doesn't really need like uh the saber fang like he's already got a mythic helm so he's, he's got 28k uh saber fang chest still and then he's got like 4,000 black wings 15,000 mecha trojans he's got 13,000 almost 14,000 queen bee chests i mean he's already got the queen bee helm um and everything else so i guess he doesn't really need it anymore so he's <laughs> He's got like 13,000, hasn't opened any of them. Um, he still needs the Bon Appetit because the, the, uh, the cups, obviously, you can never have too many cups. Uh, you could have like, I guess up to six cups is really what you need um, if you want to have cups and stuff like that. Three for range, three for inventory sort of thing. Um, but he's also going for champion as well. And then title Titan, he's got like almost 7,000 of those. And then these ones he could obviously use the fortune chest because he got the, all the energy and the uh, holy stars. Uh, I'm not going to open these. Uh, th I'll let him open all those stuff. But uh, speed ups... Uh, yeah, he does have speed ups, not a ton. He's he's still building stuff. He uses them for like troops and stuff like that because he likes to attack people. Um, you can see he's got 1.4 billion kills, so he is not afraid to attack people. I'm actually just going to throw him into his uh, his mix set because um, that's. I'm not sure. It's probably, it's sort of a mix set, but he has no cav attack in his mix set. It's all uh, it's all infantry and range. So his his mix set or his attack set, I guess that's just like random attack i'm not sure what he uses this one for i should have asked him actually uh but the infantry attack is 350 and the range is 345 and he's got 182 percent army hp so um interesting because uh looking at the stats there i mean uh, he's in cav set right now so he's got like 618 infantry and then 577 range and that's not even in talents <laughs> this is in cav talents so um his talents are his attack could be way higher than that too that's just like that's his mix attack I'm not sure what he uses that for, taking rallies or something. He's got 530% uh, army HP on that as well in that set. Um, taking a look at his heroes, uh, Mag Magmaroid is the uh, the one that gives you the passive stats. So this also uh, applies to your uh, basic, uh, I think it's your... Uh, uh, what's called base stats because um, he's got 10% infantry here. I think that's why his infantry base stats are higher than his range and cab is basically just this hero here because everything else should be even because he's got everything maxed or everything else maxed. But this one gives him a little bit more. So it gives him 10% infantry attack and 10% infantry defense passive. So he doesn't need to have this on his wall. This just gives you the stats all the time. If you guys were wondering what that was, uh, if you're looking through the heroes, you're like, oh, well, that, that's really low attack. But that's because it gives you it to all the time. You don't even need the hero on your wall. It's like Trickster. You don't need Trickster on your wall to get the research stats. Same thing here. It's just a passive stat. Um, then he has the three uh, what's called coalition ones. So these ones just give you bigger uh, march sizes when you're doing uh, the wonders and stuff like that. So for a rally lead, very important these heroes. He's got all three of them, all maxed. Uh, for that, then he has stuff like Chaos Dragon. He's got that maxed. Uh, just some army attack heroes like uh, Storm Fox. Or no, Storm Fox is an army, is it? Yeah, Storm Fox is army. Okay. Then like Berserker, same thing. And then Lore Weaver and uh, where are the other ones? Uh, yeah, so he's got Songstress, all those, and all, obviously all the free to play ones as well. So um, all those heroes maxed. And then uh, we'll take a look at where was the other thing I was going to show you? Um, 
I guess that was basically everything. I mean, he does have like a bunch of infirmaries and stuff and uh, manners just to rebuild troops. Uh, again, he does attack a lot of people. So you've probably been hit by him if you're a solo trap and been around. He's not afraid to hit people, which is really, really cool. So I like people who are not afraid to hit people. I, I've seen people with like 2 billion might and like 14 million kills. And you're like, what are you doing with that account? Like, why even have that account? What are you doing? Farming with that account? Like, what, what's the point? So. Um, so yeah, this is a really, really cool account. Um, I was actually going to attack people, but um, I'm, not, I'm not sure how, if they had set something up or anything like that, like rallies and stuff like that. I might have threw it in the video. I might get a clip of that later, but um, I think that's everything I wanted to show you guys on this. Oh, no, actually, that's not true. I wanted to show you the cabinets. So I'll show you his cabinet. So basically just all the stuff he has in his cabinet. I'll show you all the extra jewels and stuff that he has as well. Um, so the first thing is, like, you can see he's got the Mythic Helms, uh, all the level 60 Helms. He's going to be working on this one next. So he's going to be working on his Champion Visitor. Um, this one is the Infantry Range Attack one, I guess. Um, so that will be, probably be a new Helm he'll put in his set. Um, you can see that's the next Champion he's going to be working on. Plus he has a Purple Champion I think he's working on as well. But you can see he's got, uh, like... Firewall Plate, he's got the Champion Plate here, uh, Mythic Champ, uh, Terror Shield, uh, he's got Champion Boots, uh, th those are the uh, Champion Strides that he uses for his Infantry set, also for Speed Up, I guess. Um, um, he could get his Storm Tassets up, but I guess he just doesn't use Storm Tassets, because he's got like 6,000 sets, and <laughs> you can see, he can actually get it, he just hasn't done it, so I guess he could get Mythic, but he doesn't really use it as Mythic because he's got the Champion set in his uh, Infantry set, so um, this this isn't actually really useful for him, so he, he could build it up, but it's not really useful, so there's no point. Um, unless he was trying to be like a Rally Trap, <laughs> he could put it as his fake set, I guess, uh, but otherwise, yeah, so um, yeah, you can see he's got uh, Dragon Talons as well, he uses that as range, that's his Infantry, Gargantuan Belt, uh, this is just the Skull Crusher Mythic. Uh, Skull Crusher is really good. He can actually technically put this in his range set because it does give a ton of uh, army attack on it as well. Um, it does get more attack than the... Uh, or where is it? This thing, the rod. Uh, but the rod does give quite good HP, so a little bit more HP on the rod, uh, but way more attack on the uh, what's called uh, Skull Crusher with the army attack in there. Um, less range attack, but more what's called overall attack because the the uh, uh, the the range attack. Yeah, sorry for the or the army attack, whatever it is. Sorry, I was I was getting a brain fart there. So he could also use the saw in his infantry set. So um, he's decided to use the terror lash. So. That's kind of up to him. So you could either switch his gear and throw the saw or use the tear lash. Um, again, he uses the horn crucial for his uh, cab set. Uh, this is the champion lamps, another mythic champ piece. Uh, he uses that for his infantry set. Uh, what else does he have? He has the uh, internal codex mythic. Uh, obviously, he has the uh, winter mitts, but he, he doesn't really use that because that's more for a... Uh, a rally trap setup, I would say, use that more, or he could actually use that. But he wanted the more attack, so he went. He went for the uh, eternal codex there. Uh, let's see what else he has. Obviously, he has some blade rings, uh, mythic. He's got three mythic cups. Uh, two of them are infantry. One of them is range. So this is the infantry one. This is the range infantry, and this is infantry. So <laughs> uh, technically, they all have uh, infantry jewels in there. Uh, but this one is the one he uses as range set. Uh, because, yeah, I guess he uses all three in his infantry and then one in his range. And then he has um, this one that he's building up. So he's going to wait for that one to get up to Mythic before he can throw that one into his range set, probably. Like, fully range set. Just throw full range jewels in there. Um, he is working on his champion uh, blessing, which he can also throw it in there. So that's another thing. If he gets this to Mythic Champ, then he can use this as his range or infantry set because he's got both in there. Um, he's currently set up range infantry, so he could also use that in there. Um, we'll take a look at the other ones. Then it's just like Mythic Drums, uh, then his Speed Up Gear, and then Merging Gear and all that. So that's all that. And we'll take a look at his jewels. So he does have a ton of jewels still. He's got extra like Saber Fang jewels and Nosterosis jewels and Trojan jewels. So these are all just like Speed Up stuff you can put in your Speed Up Gear. Grim jewels, he's got a ton of those actually. He's got four extra golds. Uh, Gargantia jewel, he's got an extra one of those. Champion jewel, which he can throw into another set. Um, he is building up again a champion set. So maybe he'll throw the champion jewel into that champion set for the extra HP. Uh, worm jewels, terror jewels, got a ton of those extra ones. Those are ones pretty easy to get if you're on hunting buses. That's a lot of griffin jewels. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I have any griffin jewels. He's got like 
14 gold. So I don't know where he gets those from. I guess from like uh, buying jewels packs and stuff like that. Because um, those are hard to get. Because I don't see those very often in uh, hunts and stuff. Because no one does griffin hunts. Um, so having 14 of those, that must be somewhere from uh, the, the jewel chest and stuff he opens. And he's got a bunch of extra gold jewels. I wish I had nine extra cavalry gold jewels. Uh, but yeah, he's got nine extra of those, six extra infantry, and then two extra range ones. Uh, he probably has more range in his sets, that's probably why. But yeah, he's got a ton of extra jewels, a ton of extra stuff. But that's kind of what it is when you spend uh, this much building up a really good rally or rally lead account. So I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, little look at a rally lead account um i will have more of these vids coming out i've been trying to get someone to do a mythic champ uh like full max account overview but no one really wants to let me on their um, <laughs> max mythic uh baron account because i guess it, it, it's a lot of money so people <laughs> people just don't let other people on it i understand that um, i know i've known dixie for like two years on the game i was in his guild like two years ago probably when i first started youtube i was actually in his guild so i've known him quite a while so it's really hard to get on these accounts but he was nice enough to let me get on this and uh, show you guys what's on there so i hope you guys enjoyed the video um i will have some more videos coming out i do have a rally video coming out tomorrow so i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i'll see you guys in the next one